This week on Museo Hub, we chase the ace. G'day and welcome to Museo Hub. This week we have a local band, Chase the Ace, in the studio. Welcome, guys. Hey. Uh, it's good to have you along. Um, just, um, I'll run through the band, just um, test my memory out again. Uh, lead vocals beside me and guitarist, lead guitarist is Jack. Yep. On drums and vocals we have Tara. Yeah. On bass we have Red, or Redder. And on rhythm guitar, we have Tyler, and uh, you also have vocals, both of you too, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Some backing yeah. vocals, yeah, sort of, when they want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what I might get you to do, guys, is um, just um, run, run along the line and just explain how old you were and how you first got interested in music. So um, we'll start with you, Jack. Yeah, I, I sort of started playing guitar after I got pretty much addicted to Guitar Hero and decided I wanted to get a guitar and mum and dad bought me one and I got lessons for a little while and started picking it up and pretty much taught myself it was pretty much that's how I started playing ACDC most of the time too so. And um, how old were you Jack when, when you um, started? I think I was about 10. That's amazing, that's great, good, mm. good age to start. Yeah. And Tara, your story? Uh, I was about 11 when I started playing the drums and I started playing the drums simply for the fact that Jack and Tyler were getting together having a jam and the guitar didn't have drummer so I sort of took up that role. Yeah, so a musical family started up that didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, so it, yeah. Because um, for those of you out there who don't know, we've got Jack and Tara are brother and sister so it was a bit of, uh, might have been family rivalry was it, that one was playing <laughs> the other one wasn't, yeah, yeah. No. But um, that's worked out really well. Yeah. And Reda? Oh, well, I started playing bass in year seven when I just turned 13. Just, I was in love with music but didn't have anything to do, so I just decided to pick up an instrument and learn it. Excellent. Well done. And Tyler? Um, I think I started playing guitar at around the same stage as Jack when I was nine or ten. And it started with my auntie having an old beaten up guitar in her wardrobe and she gave me that for my birthday, I think. And then my mum ended up organising lessons for me with the school and started from there. I just loved music from then on. Excellent. So um, how did uh, Chase the Ace, how did you actually get together, guys? What's the, the story behind that? Well, uh, me and Tyler were in the same class and... We started chatting and discussed how we were both playing the guitar and everything and we ended up becoming pretty good mates and I got him to come over and we we set up and played a few Akadaka songs for an hour or two and we did that I think two or three times and then Tara decided that she wanted to be part of it and she talked to parents getting into the the drums and that and they got her a drum kit and and um, from there we, we sort of just not much happened until we got Red. I traced Red down at school. He was the only bassist I knew, and he come in, and she pretty much formed from there. So excellent. Um, songwriting too, guys. Um, who does all your songwriting? Where does that all come from? Because uh, I've had a look, and um, I know your song "Fight" um, is the one that I'm familiar with with the video clip. That's uh, fantastic. We're gonna have a look at it a bit later. But, um, where does the songwriting come from? Who who organises all that? I um I do all the songwriting. I um yeah I I tend to just jot things down into my phone and stuff when when I'm you know they first hit me. I just punch them into my phone and end up working my way through and finding bits and pieces to fit together and. That's sort of the way I write my songs. It's a bit scrappy, but they come out all right. So. They, it works, yeah. It works very well, what I've heard. So, <laughs> um, so with um, gigs and that, where you've you been playing locally or just around Bendigo, or do you actually travel at all? Uh, we've been playing in a lot of pubs around Bendigo. We play 
sort of at the new market and the vine a bit. We play at the Music Man Mega Store a few times as well. Um, we've gone to Shepparton and Newbridge for yep. like birthday parties and stuff like that. But other than that, we're basically just local. Yeah. And have you got any gigs coming up um, in the next few weeks or so that people could check you out? Uh, well, we're going to be at the Queens of Noise yep. on the Saturday night. And that's on the 28th and 29th 28th, of 29th. June, yeah, yep. 2013. If you're um, <laughs> if you're watching this in a couple of years' time, you're uh, a bit late for it. But um, we got Battle of Bands. We'll be at Battle of the Bands, and that's about all, really. Yeah, excellent. Um, so have you got plans to like expand into Melbourne and travel and play? Is that that what you're aiming at, or are you just trying to get a, a bit of a base here first? We um. We've been fanging to try and get into Melbourne. That's like a really big goal of ours. We got um we got asked by a guy that wanted us to play at, at like a big festival in Melbourne. Um, I'm not sure when the date is. We still got to work it out a bit, but that that sounds like it's going to go ahead. It should be really good. So yeah, that's great because uh, Melbourne is very hard to break into. It's an uncommon thread that I've had in this show. Anyone trying to get into Melbourne, they're finding it very hard. So if you've yeah. got a gig in there, that's that's excellent. And what about recording? Have you um, done anything recording? Obviously, you've got that the song that I know because it's um, great audio and very particularly great video too as well. So um, do you want to give a plug to the people that did the audio and the video? Um, yeah, we did the the recording with Zach Arthur from Agus Audio. That's what it is now. It was Shaith Shaith Records when we did it. But um, no, we were really happy with him. He did a really good job. We were wrapped with the finished product. Um, and what about the video? Red 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 is going to come in on that one. Yeah. Oh, um, well, Jordan Allen from the Blues scene from Bendigo did our recording. He's a family friend of our, like mine, and he came up to my dad and asked us if we wanted to do a recording because he needed to, he had all this gear and he needed a project to do, so he just chose us. Excellent, great. It's pretty good for a project if it's just a yeah, pro yeah. project, yeah, it's excellent. So we'll have a look at that in a few minutes. Um, now, your recordings, are they, um, can people access them at all? Are you selling them or are they online or...? Um, we've recently put them all on iTunes, so you'll be able to get them on iTunes, which is really good, so... Yeah, excellent. So, um, yeah, people just go and do a search. Yeah, search. Chase, Chase. Okay, guys, um, that's about all we have time for, so um, thanks for coming in. Thank really you. appreciate it, and good luck with all your uh, future gigs, and uh, next time we get you in, we hope you've been playing in Melbourne and Sydney and etc and you're, you're all up the top of the charts don't, don't forget to come back <laughs> so don't forget to have a look at Muso Biz um, which I'll play a um, little um, promotion for it at the end of the show after we've uh, watched Chase the Ace and um, don't forget to catch up with that, it's all about uh, running a business um, how to organise gigs, how to organise festivals how to get recordings, what's the best way to record and all that sort of thing. So that's with uh, Matt Potter, Potter, uh, as he likes to be called, just Potter. Um, and uh, check that out, uh, a bit of promotion for it just after the show. So uh, uh, we'll catch you next time and here's Chase the Ace with Fight. <laughs>
Hey guys, Potter here. Uh, just got a short video to let you guys know about the next phase of Muso Hub we're about to launch called Muso Biz. Uh, it's a show that I'll be hosting about every two to three weeks, uh, just going over the music business and what's associated with that, such as scoring gigs, dealing with management, dealing with venues, etc. Um, so if there's any uh, new bands starting out, it could be a valuable tool to tune into. So if you guys have got anything you want to hear about, uh, make sure you drop us a line either via the website or via our Facebook page and make sure you hit subscribe to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. If you'd like to stay connected with Muso Hub, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.